Hey plant gang, Miles here, coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, and you've landed on Paradise in a Pot. If you're new here, welcome to my plant channel. If you're not new here, welcome back, and I apologize for the long pause I've taken. Um, today I'm just going to go over real quick a little bit of what's been going on over the last six months and why I've not been around on YouTube or been doing videos. And then I have some Hoya chores I need to repot some Hoya, get them into my potting mix from the nursery potting mix. So yeah, I've acquired a few Hoya over the last couple months that uh, I'll be showing off today. Also, uh, let's see, I do have to water some of my plants and I do have a few other things going on. So let's go ahead and try to catch up on all these neglected plant chores and um, yeah, follow along. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, tell me what I could do better, make this channel more enjoyable for you. And absolutely share it with your friends who have house plants that might need help. I've uh, been taking care of house plants since 1985, so I know just a little bit about how to take care of them. I don't know everything and I don't claim to know everything. So for those of you who have been on my channel for a little while, you can probably see that I've been absent for some time. And the main reason of that absence, first of all, was I've been having trouble with my phone. However, it's worked itself out for some reason. I don't know why or how, although I have a clue. I might have done something to fix it. I don't know. So I'm just going to be grateful that it works now and that I can record videos again. Another thing is this summer and why I didn't really pursue fixing my phone until recently is I've had this uh, little kitty cat you may have noticed on both my Instagram and uh, YouTube here that has popped into my life. Uh, she followed me home. She's uh, extremely friendly, and then she gave me five kittens, which you've also seen that I've probably been really busy with. And uh, these five kittens have now gone to their forever homes. So they've been gone a week as of yesterday. And I still have Mama here, and she's right here right now being nosy what I'm doing. Come here, Pfeiffer. Say hello to the people at home. This is Pfeiffer. She's a really good little girl. She's very friendly. She doesn't want to be on camera. She's a little shy. She's very curious as to what I'm doing all the time. She's always following me. So she's a much smaller cat than our uh, normal resident kitty cat around here, Cookie, which you all know. So that's been keeping me busy um, and keeping me broke, too, I will say. It's a lot of money to raise kittens and to feed them, just so you know. Especially when you have a stubborn mother cat that will not let them stay where you want them contained. And then you have them ruin things in your living room. So that's what I've been contending with all summer. But anyhow, here we are. Thank goodness I'm a plant person because I have a lot of patience. Although this cat has pressed a lot of my patience. Um, unfortunately, a lot of my plants kind of suffered just out of overall neglect of just lack of me having any energy to deal with them. So that's what we're here to do today. So today I'm gonna to start off by grabbing a few of the Hoya that I have behind me here that need to be repotted. Not necessarily potted, but I'd like to take uh, the Hoya that I purchased from a particular nursery out of whatever they, they have it in because I don't feel that's the best uh, in my home environment. In the nursery, it probably works great for them, but I find that if I leave their Hoya in that mix in my environment, it doesn't work well for long. But as usual, I like to let the plants all take at least two weeks to catch up. Also, I do have uh, a white wizard philodendron that I picked up at a local grocery store. It was on clearance for a dollar because someone had broken off the growing tip. I didn't care, I paid a dollar for it and it's grown me a new leaf. I'll show you that coming up in the video and we'll go ahead and repot that too because it does need a new pot. And from what I understand from a lot of you folks out there is that it has the death plug around the roots of it. So I wanna go ahead and make sure that's taken care of too because it's really uh, growing nicely. I've had it for probably about six, eight weeks now and it's popped out a really nice leaf for me. So just because it's missing the growth tip doesn't mean it's a dead plant. So uh, yeah, a dollar for a philodendron white wizard any day of the week if I can save a plant for a dollar I will. I'm trying to look around here what else I got going on. I know I see some uh, melon and chrysum, philodendron melon and chrysum in here suffering from spider bites. I see that uh, I got a few other things in here that need some attention. I've got little plants hanging around that have been knocked over and destroyed by cats and kittens that I need to decide is this worth saving or do I just throw it away? I don't know. Maybe I'll throw it in the prop box and see if it grows along. Um, let's see. Oh, I also have this little peperomia here that just keeps growing wonky, wonky, wonky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to propagate and repot it back up and try to make it look cute again. Uh, I don't know where it's going or why it's doing this, but I'm just going to, like I said, you know, this I already propagated once. It looks like this one failed. So I'll probably just take this out because it looks dead. 
But the rest of it looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably cut these off and then propagate them to put them back in there. So that's one of my little plant chores there. Uh, I'm trying to look around and see what else. So yeah, behind me, all these Hoya, uh, which is mainly what's over here, have been in treatment over the summer. That is one chore I did take care of, is I did the sulfur treatment for uh, the flat mites. I did have an infestation of flat mites. It first attacked my elliptica, which I keep looking at down here. That was so bad. That has really started to come back because it's giving me new leaves everywhere. So I'm kind of encouraged that I saved that. However, I should have treated everybody at that same time because then I saw two other of my Hoya acquire those flat mites and it wasn't pretty. It really tore them up quickly and I lost a lot of leaves on a couple of Hoya that were growing really vigorously for me. So better safe than sorry, I did treat them all. I will say that after treating them, uh, they have started a lot of new growth. Uh, I also found out from a little bit of research that all plants like a bit of sulfur from time to time and that it's kind of a trace element that doesn't really get added to a lot of our fertilizers. So what I've done is any of my plants uh, outside the Hoya that have ever uh, not grown right or seem to be struggling or seem to you know, have weird or odd problems or black spots but I don't see insects, I'm treating them all with sulfur and I'm finding that I'm getting results from doing that on my philodendron and other plants. Again, I'd recommend always trying a small bit on a plant before you do the whole plant, just in case that plant is sensitive. And please follow the instructions that come on the brand of sulfur you use. I will say though, however, using it was a great benefit to me. And not only, like I say, did the Hoya uh, stop losing their leaves, which is what you want, first of all, especially when they're full bushy Hoya, uh, they, they have all uh, started new growth. So I've seen an explosion of growth, even though we are into the fall. I guess today's the first full day of fall. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of these plants. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for a minute, prepare some stuff that we're going to take care of, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, i got us turned around here, and these are the Hoya. I've got four of them that I acquired over the summer, two of which I know the names of, which is the, the what's this, Kumingana? And then we've got the Hoya heart leaf, the Carrii. I have two that I picked up recently, which I'm not sure in. I think this might be the Hoya Crinkle 8, but I'm not positive. It also might be the Parasitica. It was just lovely, and for $5.98, I had to pick it up, whatever it was, because it doesn't look like any of the Hoya I currently have. And again, you can see the white spots on there are all from my sulfur treatment. And then the last Hoya I picked up was this little guy. Again, $5.98, and I'm not sure what it is. The leaves come in kind of goldy, with a little reddish tint as they darken, and then they harden off. It almost looks like a Wyeti eye, but it's not as thick. So I'm not sure if this is a Wyeti eye or uh, something else. So if you guys have ideas on what these two that I don't know are, please leave it in the comments below and I'll uh, check it out and see if they relate to that and let you know if that's what it turns out they are. So anyhow, they all come in this really dense potting mix that I want to go ahead and swap out with my mix that I use for my Hoya, which is a lot more chunky, and I add in that horticultural charcoal. So we'll start with the one I've had the longest, which is this one here. And they're all really in desperate need of water, too, so this should be really good. Now what I want to do is just try to carefully, and like I said, they're dry, so I just want to kind of carefully break up some of this soil, see if I can't get it out of there. And I'll probably just keep them in their same pots. Just, I want to loosen up soil. The Hoya roots are so delicate, they do not like this, so I'm sure there'll be a little bit of die-off after I get done with this. But overall, this should help them do a lot better in my environment. So there, we got that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply put it right back into the pot it was in. Because I'm not trying to up-pot them, I'm just trying to change out the mix. So let's go ahead and put a little on the bottom, set that in there, try to keep it a little upright like it was, and we'll pop that right up. And there we go. And that can go over there and get watered as soon as we're ready for the water. Now all we're going to do is the same thing to every one of these. So this one's a little bit easier to break apart. See how that it's just so peaty, it's so wet the soil it stays wet I feel too long um, 
And I want to make sure, like I say, that these guys grow well. This doesn't have a really big root system. Very, it's soft PD mix. I bet that works great in the greenhouses for them. And these guys. And I'm not mad at it. But I do want to change it out. Oh, that looks so much better already. I already feel better just knowing that that's done. And again, if uh, you want to know more about my soil mix, I'll put a little description uh, down below what I use. It's basically uh, perlite, horticultural charcoal, Fox Farms, uh, media mix, a little systemic poison in there to, uh, I didn't today. I will after I'm done doing this. But usually I add it right into the mix. And see that I think already looks better. It's got those leaves up out of the soil, which I don't really care for any plants to have. Just make sure all the roots get covered back there. And this little root right here, it's done. All right, and then we'll go ahead and soak that. So now in this one, you can see that the, the mix kind of turned a little green here. It kind of gets a little algae growth on it. That can't be good for the plants either. And like I say, it's probably from the nursery, or from the, uh, well, the nursery, but from the greenhouse, from wherever they're growing these out from. That. It's quite a little, quite a little cutting there. Sure doesn't look like a Yeti to me. This one. I'm not sure what this is. It looks a little like the Bertonii, but it's not that because the leaves are too uh, long. I would say. Yeah, that does come out pretty good. All right, and yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and pot these three back up together like they were. Oh yeah, these guys are all going to be doing so much better. Now normally, gang, I would clean out a pot before I would reuse it. But we're basically, well not basically, we're exactly putting the same plants right back into the pot they just came out of. And since I'm not going through a sterilization process here, I don't see a need. The, this is, you know, it's their toothbrush, they can use it kind of deal. That's how I see it. If it wasn't their toothbrush, well, certainly I could get them a fresh one or at least the very least, wash the old one up for them. These multi growers are kind of hard to get back in the pot till it's decent, but we'll get it. We'll manage. So yeah, I've had a lot of a lot of plants not make it through the cat fiasco of 2023, as I'm calling it. Um, never expected in a thousand years that I'd be raising kittens, especially in such a Small residences I live in. Oops. A little earthquake there, gang. Sorry about that. All right. Got that all done. We'll get that water down. Make sure that's pretty good. This charcoal is a little chunky, a little big. It's okay in that little parts of the mix, but up top we got. Last but not least, we're gonna repot this little guy. Get him out of there. So much for keeping everything on a tray. It's okay, with all these kittens around, I've learned vacuuming every day is a, a fun thing to do. So why not for the plants too? Hey, we're easy going around here most of the time. Yeah, whatever this one is, it's really cute. It's got a lot of new growth coming out on it. I'm really excited to see where it grows. Again, there's one, two, three. It looks like three, yep, three little cuttings growing here. It almost looks like the elliptica. Oh, it's four little cuttings. Look at that. All right, so we got four little cuttings here. Let's get them off my heap of dirt now that we've got that all worked out. Let's get rid of this. All right, I'll just bring this right over here. Let's get back some of those big chunky bits for the bottom. Let's see. Nice roots. This one's growing. Not quite as nice roots, but. Doesn't mean you can't grow some. Well, that's not very well. These bigger pieces, here's a bigger piece. Alright, and then this. Oh, it's all coming together like a puzzle. And then this one, which has got the nice growth coming out of it, we're gonna set like that. Right. Set it in the center there. You know, and I'm gonna say again, when you put in dirt into a plant, don't worry about where the dirt falls falls on a leaf or whatever, just let it. Don't worry about it. You'll clean it up when you're done. 
Let's see. I give it a little tap. And this is why I like to keep my potting mix dry too, so it's just easy to do. All right, so I got those four little guys repotted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and water them and let them soak for about 30 minutes. And I've mixed up a little water here with uh, some of my Liquid Karma. It's dechlorinated water and it's at room temperature, so it's not to shock the roots. Now, my tap water pH does run at 7.8, so my water is a little hard here in Las Vegas. It's uh, very full of minerals, I would say. And that makes uh, for a lot of mineral buildup if I use tap water all the time. I'm currently looking to invest into a water purifier so that I can stop purchasing because I really do agree that uh, distilled water and bottled water all together and all those plastic bottles, it's a waste of the environment. It really is. And if I had a better way to do it, I would do it. However, I don't currently have the money to buy a water purifier purification system. It runs about $250. And uh, right now I'm in the midst of catching up from feeding five kittens. So if somebody has a water purification system they'd like to donate to the channel, I would love it. Um, however, until then I'm going to have to be getting distilled water to do my intermediate waterings and my more sensitive plant waterings, which is okay with me. Because right now I got to do what I got to do. And I do try to recycle those jugs. I do fill them up with tap water and leave them out for the homeless. All right, gang, we're going to leave that sit for about 30 minutes and let them soak up that water. Let that media soak up that water. And they should be good to be put back. So we'll let that go and we'll come back and take care of another task. All right, gang, we've got those all potted up and watered, and I'm going to put those back. And since I think you guys all kind of know what I do for water, and I'm going to take care of the other 35 Hoya and water them up. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up for today so that it's not too long for you to watch. I just want to let you know that I'm going to be trying to do a lot more videos here in the near future. And I'm also going to be kickstarting back with the Botany Word of the Day as a short video here on YouTube. So if you guys like all that, look forward to that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give my video a thumbs up if you like what you saw here today. And guys, remember, no matter what your plans look like, no matter what's going on in your life, it's okay. Because these plants... They understand. So you guys all take care and have a great day out there. Bye-bye.